Good morning, guys. Had had to I had to start this show off with with no longer bound by Forrest Frank and Hovey. This is a very eclectic gym session on right here on WSCFM in HD One Columbia. I am DJ Trove. Um, to to start, um, be, before before I I get I get to 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 the rest of today's music. Um, yesterday was was Veterans Day, so so um so I I'm I wanted to to talk talk about um my my father since he he has been in the um in the Air Force for for over 20, 21 years. So so I I just um, wanted to to um, talk talk about that. And um and I I'm, I may have um have on two two guests. I I will I I'm, I will let let you know when when they've um joined me. But um but first I've I have some I have some uh, music and um I I will um start it off with some rotation. Start starting start off it'll be made made of glass by Molly Birch. Hope you guys enjoy enjoy th- this show and be sure to keep it locked. By Earth Eater and Made of Glass by by Molly Birch. Up next is you you've been you've been away so long by Alice Alice Ho or Alice How. Um Shallow by Beach Fossils and Mr. Hyde by Blueprint. Hope you guys enjoy this set and be sure to keep it locked. And by by DJ Jer- Jerry T- Tomatoes of of um the garden and and DJ Maddox of AV1. Hey, what's up? Hey. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little morning voice. <laughs> thank um, you for having us on your show, Jalen. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, how how have you guys been? Oh, I've been wonderful. Yeah, pretty we good. Um, we did not do anything this weekend. We just watched a bunch of movies and cleaned and did some homework. It was a good time. Yeah, very, very chill time. We went to a show on Friday, though. Oh, yeah, we did go to a show on Friday. We heard the bands uh, 410A, Boz, uh, Truth Club, and then I think uh, Gamine also played. But yeah, they were really good. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm 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 very glad you you guys um in, enjoyed the show. Oh yeah, definitely. It was a really good time. Our, uh, you know the music director Brandon here, um, he put that show together, so he did a really good job with it. Yeah, he like owns the venue or something, or like he doesn't own it. He just like runs it. Oh okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. What have you been up to this weekend? Well, my I'm I've been on uh, chilling. Um, Friday I I got I got my uh my own uh, my set set list t- together. Nice. So so like um my it it's been like a ra- rather chill. I I did I did go go to Strom um yet yesterday. Ooh, you got a workout in. I I just saw um, shot shot around for for a bit like um for like um um almost an hour so Sweet. I I really enjoyed it. Nice. Nice, nice. I like to go rock climbing at Strom. Have you ever been rock climbing? Yes, I I didn't I I did go rock rock climbing this past Tuesday. Oh really? Sweet. Yeah, I love rock climbing. They just opened a. Uh, or I say just opened, but over the summer they opened a rock climbing gym in uh, in Casey, um, which is pretty close to campus. Uh, but I gotta go check that out soon. Nice. So um, no, I'm 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 very I'm very glad you you guys are here. I'm very yeah, glad we to are be too. here. Thanks yeah. for having us. You're you're welcome. Um, we. 
So, and any any additional comments or thoughts about mm. your weekend? I don't think so. It's been definitely a, a pretty chill weekend compared yeah. to like I don't know compared to past weekends. Yeah. We've been going to football games and Halloween and stuff like that. So it's been nice to just hang out. Yeah, I think we watched like five movies last night. We did. Yeah, we watched some good movies. Mm. Nice. That there, there is there is not not nothing wrong with the movie marathon. Oh no. Yeah. Never. <laughs> what kind of music you got coming up? So that was the Greater Wings by Julie Burns. Ju- Julie Byrne. Um Don't Fade Out by Cut Burns and Two Thousand Three by Molly Birch. And in since since it since it's a fit a don't fit fifty two, um, be, be, before I I play PSAs, um, how did did you guys um enjoy enjoy this set? I did. That last song was really really pretty. Mm-hmm. It's been a really good set. Like honestly, a, a wide range of stuff, but everything sounded really good. I was gonna say I haven't really. Uh, sorry to Brandon, but I have not really <laughs> listened to a whole lot um, in rotation. Um, but those were all really pretty. I th- I really liked her voice. Yeah, I guess I never really. I like always go straight for the rock section of rotation. That's true. I never explore like jazz or pop or anything like that i always just look at the rock stuff but mm. maybe i need to start expanding a little bit and yeah, i feel you um I'm, i was for for this show i, I was just on um, trying to to uh, to got got their songs from from all mo- multiple genres right yeah, yeah. honestly sometimes like my show i can only play one genre really because it's like a specialty show but um i don't know sometimes i kind of wish i didn't have a specialty show just so i could play different genres like it'd be kind of nice to be able to expand a little bit but maybe like next semester i'll broaden it some or something like that do like shoegaze and jazz (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah. Well, my, I'm I'm very I'm I'm very glad you you guys um enjoy enjoyed this set. Um, I I actually played played on played the the, the great the great the wings on on my own for for a show of the um of the semester, and um I I really enjoy enjoy that song. Sweet, I don't know if I've heard that, or was that one that you just played? That that was that that was that was what, what I just um played. Oh okay. Yeah, was that was the one you just like the most the, recent one. The third one that you played. Okay, yeah. So I had forgotten the name of it already. <laughs> I've got a <laughs> terrible memory. But you said you played that on your first show. Um, I I did. Nice. I I can't remember what I played for my first show of this semester. I think it was just kind of like all my favorite songs over the summer. That yeah. was kind of the idea of it. I I feel you. Um, so um, don't do the second hour of a very eclectic gem session with what was spe- with special guest DJ Jerry Tomatoes from the Garden and DJ Mad Dogs from AV1 right here on WSCFM and HD1 Columbia. Um. So um, with um, I I've a I've a few questions for you guys. Okay. So, All right. Shoot. So like, what what type of music do you guys enjoy listening to or play on on your shows? Mm. Bree, do you want to go first? Yeah. So um, on my show, the Garden, we normally play. Um, pretty, it's pretty heavily, like, rock music. Um, for a second there, we were really, like, diving into Midwest emo, (laughs) but I think we've slowly gotten out of that phase, (laughs) and, um, we, like, try to play some, like, 
sometimes some like rock electronic music because that can be really cool or some like folk music i got really really into folk music last semester um but yeah just mainly rock is what we play on on our show nice um how how about you um i on my show i i play shoegaze music and like diy music so which is kind of a broad category honestly because diy music is just music that's made like independently of a label or something um just people that do it themselves um but uh, like outside of my show i listen to pretty much everything like, yeah i really like jazz um i really like some electronic music uh i <laughs> sometimes i like country music too <laughs> like like older country music and uh I don't know some like pop too. Like I don't know. I, I'll I'll listen to anything if I'm being honest. Uh, but on my shows, it's specifically kind of like the shoegaze stuff um, and more like rock, you know. Nice. Um, I I usually play like um hip hip hop R and B alternative indie at times jazz and um an other other genres so so like um and one one more question where where you, was uh, was music um the like um key in in your households oh, oh yeah. yeah yeah it definitely was my parents listened to anything under the sun <laughs> they had like the biggest cd collection i had ever seen in my entire life and like um i'll play songs on the on the station and what have you and i'll get they'll be texting me about the artists and they're like <laughs> they love fundraiser week because fundraiser week we can play top 40 and i always like pick a couple of songs that they i know they really like mm-hmm. and they're like texting me and they're like i love fundraiser week i this is my favorite week out of the entire like <laughs> semester i love it so much yeah my uh my grandma also loves fundraiser week, but it's literally just because she likes hearing me on the radio. <laughs> she doesn't care. She actually does not like the music that I play at all. She'll like she'll text me after my shows and she'll be like, "I loved hearing you talk. The music was okay." <laughs> and I'll be like, "All right," <laughs> but it's not her. It's not her vibe. But um, yeah, my dad he has like he's got pretty good music taste. I'd say like I don't fish. Yeah, he really <laughs> likes Fish and Grateful Dead and Dave Matthews Band and all those, like, uh, I don't know, stoner rock bands or whatever. But um, he's also really into, like, the Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, a lot of, like, 90s alternative bands, Nirvana and stuff. And I kind of, my gosh, I was obsessed with the Red Hot Chili Peppers when I was a kid. Like, I was teeny tiny, <laughs> and I was, like, <laughs> reciting every single word to all their songs. I was into it. Um, but, yeah, I think he I think he formed a, a pretty good part of my, my music taste. Everything else came from my friends, honestly. Like, um, I, I remember, like, freshman year, I made some new friends in high school, um, and I got introduced to a lot more, like, hip-hop stuff and, like, uh, JPEG Mafia, um, and I don't know, Brockhampton. I used to be really into Brockhampton. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, but yeah, that kind of started to expand my music taste a little bit, and that's when I got into shoegaze too. So, I'd say like my household shaped my m- my music taste, but also my friends did a lot too in high school. What about you? Was was music a good part of your household when you were a kid? De- def definitely. Yeah. Like um. I'm I'm I remember like um like um and if every time my father bought bought barbecues like he he would um, have on on old school old school music or like almost every time he would have old old school music. Nice. So like um we would hear like um Ma- Ma- some Marvin Gaye some Al Green. Oh, I love Al Green. Sweet, nice. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good way to barbecue. Oh yeah, that sounds like a good time. Mm. 
I I agree, and and also I I remember, like um, we 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 had um we had um a, a bunch of CDs like uh like my father would always burn, burn burn CDs, mm-hmm. and and like um, we we and like one one of, one of my one of my my favorite albums, A Gangster and a Gentleman. By by uh, by Styles P. That's a good album. Yeah, I'm I'm I, rem- I remember hearing that all all the time, especially good times. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Do you have you ever burned a CD before? Um. Yes, I I, I have. Yeah. Um, I'm I've um I've burned um like an, a few an, a few CDs my um. For freshman year, well, like high school freshman year. Mm-hmm. Sweet, yeah. I used to burn CDs. I would record like cassette tapes too. I had like a little like boombox, and I'd record songs onto cons- cassette tapes. And so I've, I have them somewhere. I've probably got a million of them in my attic or something at home. But, but yeah, I used to love burning CDs and stuff like that. Nice. Um, how how about you? Yeah, I've definitely I've burned a couple CDs over the summer, um, because my car can still take CDs, which is fantastic. Um, but my parents had they have so many burned CDs. Like my current favorite CD is the Smashing Pumpkins. I was Greatest literally Hits. just about to say that her parents made a incredible Smashing so Pumpkins good. compilation like, CD. Yeah, it has like. The progression of the songs, too, is so good. Like, you can tell they were very methodical with what they were putting into the CD. Yeah. And they've got some s- stuff that I had, like, not heard in ages, too. Like, some covers and stuff that the Smashing Pumpkins did. Yeah. So, I think, um, what? They covered Landslide. Yeah. Do you know Landslide by uh, Fleetwood Mac and, like, Stevie Nicks? I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if I've heard it before. Probably it's... Probably. I was gonna say it's you probably have heard it. I can, uh, I can, I can play it for you whenever we get off air and show you. But the Smashing Pumpkins did a cover of that. It was actually really, really pretty. They did a good job. Yeah, I think so. So, what kind of music you got coming up for us, Jalen? So, so I, I have. Pun. Poncho Sanchez by El El Sabroson by Poncho Sa- Sanchez of the of the Line Jazz com- comp- compilation to be be in love by Brianna Morella. And another piece of the puzzle goes missing by Applesauce Tears. Hope you guys enjoy this set and be sure to keep it locked. That was an, an another another piece of the puzzle goes missing by Applesauce Tears. Being loved by Brenna Morella and Pancho Sanchez, El, Elsa Bronzo by Pancho Sanchez. Up next is The River by Thorn Mrs. Geppetto by, by Belly and Spot Me 100 by Hotline TNT. Hope you guys enjoy this set and be sure to keep it locked. Welcome back. You are still listening to to a very eclectic jam session on on the on WSC FM and HD One Columbia, and once again I've been joined by DJ Cherry Tomatoes from the Guardian and DJ Mad Dogs from A A V One. Hey hey hey. 
So, Jalen, what did you think about the Hotline TNT song? Did you like it? Yes, I'm. I'm. I re- in 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 fit in in fit it in fit with with the with the the other two songs I I played. Yeah, yeah, I think did. so. It definitely did. Yeah, that album's really good though. Um, that other song I had told you about, I forget which one it's called. Son in law, that's a good off of there. But yeah, they're a really good group. Nice. Um, speak 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 of songs. Um, we. Um, that that was Spot Me One Hundred by Hotline TNT, preceded by Geppetto by Belly and The River by Thorn Mises. So, um, be, being that being that thanks Thanksgiving it is is coming up. Um, how how do you guys feel about Thanksgiving? I am ex. Like I love, I love Thanksgiving for the traditions, mm-hmm. not for the celebration of what happened, like historical events. More of just like seeing my family and like being able to be home and like eat a lot of really good food. It's true. I'm so excited for the food. I actually am not sure what to expect this year because. Like, normally we do Thanksgiving either here in Greenville or at my aunt's house in Atlanta. Um, But this year we're going to another family member's house in Athens, Georgia. And uh, I've never, like, I know they're going to be cooking the majority of the stuff. So, like, I've never had their cooking (laughs) or anything. So I'm not sure what to expect. I'm sure it'll be yummy. Uh, Usually is. But I'm excited. I always eat so much that I like fall asleep immediately after dinner. Like I'm out for the count for the next couple of days. What about you, Jalen? You excited to, to go up to Idaho and see your family? Yeah, I am very I'm very excited. I I've been I've been down and seen seen them um in, in a long time. So. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. So so I I'm so I I can I cannot wait to to um to see see them for Thanksgiving. Sweet. That What's your fun. favorite Thanksgiving food? Yes. Mac and cheese and and sweet potatoes. Ooh, Ooh like those are good picks. Sweet potatoes or like sweet potato casserole. Just some um, regular sweet potatoes. Nice. My grandma makes sweet potato casserole. And she makes it so sweet that it's it's like a dessert. I mean, I love it, but like she puts like marshmallows on the top of it and stuff. Like it's it's like a pie or something. Mm. But yeah, I love me some mac and cheese. Ooh. God, One of my favorite foods is baked mac and cheese with like the breadcrumbs on top. Ooh, it's yeah. really good. Do you like turkey? Um. Yes. Yeah, I I can get behind some turkey. I just don't like ham. Unfortunately, I feel like that's not always a Thanksgiving food, but I've had ham at Thanksgiving before, and you know it's not my favorite. I prefer turkey. And I feel you. Um. So so like um. Yeah, I'm 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 very I'm I'm very glad th- thanks Thanksgivings um coming up and um and I I ju- I just have have um have one more question which is um uh, and if if you guys are 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 fine with, with, with me asking um do do you think um it's um uh, too early to play cr- Chris Christmas songs? <laughs> <laughs> no it is not too early. Yeah. We have been so me and Bree live together, mm-hmm. and uh, we like even last night I was cooking dinner, and Bree comes in there and she's blasting Christmas music <laughs> on her phone. We've been we've been watching Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. I put up Christmas lights in our apartment. We're getting into it. Mm-hmm. I I do see both sides of the argument. I could see how people could say it's a little too early. I know that like usually after Thanksgiving is kind of the mark of like when the Christmas season starts, yeah. but something about this year like i just needed christmas early so i just decided to go ahead like after halloween was over i was kind of over it i'm just i'm ready for christmas yeah after how i feel like 
Halloween mixed with the weather we've been having recently has just like really made me feel in the Christmas mood because I was so exhausted after Halloween ended. We had so many things going on and like it was just kind of like a crazy weekend. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we got to go back to fall now. And I was like, uh-uh, it's yeah. Christmas time. It is Christmas, it's Christmas time. time. What, what about you? Do you yeah. think it's too early? Um, don't depends. Um, I I was actually I don't I don't the corner blend, um, th- this past Monday and um and um I I heard wonderful Christmas time by Paul McCartney playing Ooh. good song. Yeah, that's a really good one. So, to me, and it it, don't, it depends. Yeah, that's yeah. that's fair enough. I'm. I'm trying not to get like full swing into the Christmas spirit until after Thanksgiving because I do think Thanksgiving is an overlooked holiday. I will say like I don't think it's appreciated enough, but it I don't know, like good food, get to see your family, get to have a little break or whatever. But like at the same time, I think you can be a little Christmassy at Thanksgiving, you know? Yeah. I've had the same Thanksgiving, like, schedule since I was, like, six or seven. Like, Thanksgiving has always been at my house, so Thanksgiving is my favorite, because my favorite holiday out of all of them, because I know exactly what to expect. I know exactly what's going to be on the table. <laughs> it, um, I have a whole, like, thing. But I al- we always end the night with watching a Christmas movie, because it's officially Christmas season. So, yeah. What's your favorite holiday, Jalen? Thanksgiving and Christmas. Nice. Yeah, good picks. Good picks. Well, well, like um, and any any additional comments or thoughts? I am just ready to eat some Thanksgiving food. I, know, I am excited for that. To go see my family. Yeah. Uh, go see Athens. I have not been to Athens in ages. Athens so. is so pretty. So yeah, it should be a good Thanksgiving. I think I'm excited. Um, how about you? I I'm really excited. I don't know what day I'm gonna go down because it's a four hour drive all the way down to Florida. So not super stoked for the drive, but I'm really excited to have like. Get stuff full of carbs and my mom always cooks so much extra food that I come back with like little containers she bought like trays for this year like little trays <laughs> that she can make little Thanksgiving dinners of so we can just stick them in the microwave and eat them so they're really on top of it there's gonna be so much food there's only like gonna be like six or seven of us there <laughs> this year but it's gonna be so scrumptious I'm so excited Nice. I'm I'm very glad. I'm I'm, a, I'm um and excited and as well. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're the most wonderful two months of the year. <laughs> it's true. They're the best months of the year. Um. I I agree. Um. And if if we if if, if we guys had have have any thoughts you you can call call WSC at eight at eight oh three five seven six ninety eight seventy two that's eight oh three five seven six WUSC and up next it's Thought for Today by Sisla Corrupted Coffin by the OCs and 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 um Arrow by Rachel Sage. Hope you guys enjoy this set and be sure to keep it locked. That was Arrow by Rachel Sage. Corrupted Coffin by the OCs and Thought for today by Sisla. That was some pretty music. I know that was the last song was really pretty. I really liked it. It sounded like a song that would be in Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. 
if if on if get if on if Gilmore Girls was 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 still when was still airing in twenty in on twenty ten, that 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 would that would be be a, be a good song. Yeah, yeah, they would have kept going with it. Oh, definitely, mm-hmm. yeah. So like um. So what um. So like for for the for for the shows um the the guarding the the guardian is Thursdays from from four Thursday afternoons from forty five and A V one is is Fridays from two two to three PM. Yes, sir. Right here on WICFM in H D one Columbia. It's true. You should follow all three of us. On Instagram, yeah. we've all got them. Mine is av one dot wusc. Mine is the garden dot wusc. And mine is a very eclectic gem session ninety point five. Sweet. Thank you for having us this morning. Yeah, it's thank you really so much. Great. I had a great time. There's been some like really some really good music. I was gonna so say far. we've had some bangers today. I've really enjoyed it. Gonna have to like start stealing some of your set list or some of the songs. <laughs> no, that you play, yeah, because this is some really good music. <laughs> you you have you you got you guys have 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 my permission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Um. And um, in in order in order to to re- to request songs, songs for for me for for me to play, um. In in the in the in the near future, you you can, you can call WSC at eight zero three five seven six WSC. That's eight zero three five five seven six ninety eight seventy two. Or you can. DM me on my Instagram at a very eclectic gem session ninety point five. Now it's it's not it's nine nine fit nine fit fifty nine. So 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 th- this this is the end of of this epi- episode of a very eclectic gem session. I am DJ Trove si- si- signing off.